Hello guys, welcome back to the video. Today is just another video on F22. Um, so you join me here, feeding the sheep. Um, I've already given them water and I've already uh, fed the chickens. Normally I do the chickens last, um, but I've done the sheep last today. Um, it's quite hot on today, so they need their water top up. Um, so there is 13 of them. Um, so we'll just take this back to the shed now. A lot easier to move the uh, smaller bales and the big bales, um, the round ones. Now, you may have, or may not remember that we had a tree here um, that was kind of in the way of that shortcut. Um, so obviously I got rid of the tree um, and I've just leased out this morning a, a stump grinder and I've just got rid of the stump so now it won't be in our way um, of well, I'm getting to the sheep um, when we take the shortcut. Um, so that was helpful, but yeah, um, it won't be in our way now, so we won't have to worry about looking out for the stump. There's no point in getting the camera out for it though, because it'd just be a bit boring. Um, so I'll just put this one with the other one. A lot easier, and a lot cheaper. Um, yeah, um, I don't plan on getting any more round bales. Um, now, whether we do them, the second cut is is different. Um, also, I do have some grass in the uh, skid steer bucket, so that needs to go to sheep at some point. Um, and if I keep on forgetting, not that it'll be worth much, but I might sell it. Um, it might look a lot in the bucket, and when you tip it out, but it's not. Say you put it in a trailer, it doesn't look that much. Um, so here's all the kit from second cut, um, all did well, I think it was 20, 21 or 22 bales, something like that. Um, you may or may not notice that the T6 isn't on the tanker, you'll see where it is uh, now. So also this bit here, this grass bit here, uh, like above the chickens I like to call it, um, I'd like to cut that where it'd be probably one or two bales. Um, but like I'll be class a second cut. Um here's a T6 and you might be wondering why why is there two tankers? Um this is actually a slow tanker. Yeah, uh, you can tell by splash paint. So you can get a slow tanker and a water tanker. Um so I've leased this. This is the second thing I've leased. Um so yeah, I mean there's only thirteen hundred litres in it from the cows. Um won't be much, but we'll hopefully try and do the like sort of edge of the fields. I don't think we'll be able to do any more than the edge. And um, these wonky bits where you can see I've gone into the grass bit there. I don't want to uh, spread slow around them. I don't want them to grow again. Um, well, I do, but I just don't want to cut them bits. Um, as you can see, you've got bits of grass here. It's left over. Um, I'm not the best at one splitting slurry and two mowing. Um, you know, I've done it before, but I'm just not very good at it um, compared to other people. Um, so the wheat is growing as well with the weeds are dying, which is good because they're not interfering with the crop growth. In a couple months, well, in the next two months, I'd like to be harvesting it, um, which is sort of the normal time, I guess you could say, um, for harvesting it. Now we have a bit of a swath here, um, which I need to collect. Uh, which could go with the grass in the skid steer bucket um, to sell, which we might help a bit more grass with a bit more price. Um, so this should be running out soon. Um, about now. No, oh, okay. At some point. There you go. Um, they can set. They said I can return it later, but I haven't got anything to do, so I might as well return it now. So, yeah, um, I mean, it was pretty cheap. Um, I think it's the same price as a water tanker, so I could buy it. But the thing is, I'm not going to have any slurry. Um, so, with me not having slurry, that was just from the cows. Um, and the, um, I'm not getting cows anytime soon. I don't think there's a point in having a slurry tanker. Um, yes, I could do spread slurry for other people, but it just wouldn't really just be a bit of kit, uh, be, um, 
another bit of kit to look after. And it's uh, a couple of grand, I think, uh, just to buy it. And then just for it to sit in the yard and then every now and then be used. Sorry, um, now, I keep on mentioning this, but this house here, they didn't have anything in their yard. It's just a flat concrete yard. And I don't want to be nosy and go over and ask what's happening, but they might have something planned um, for the future, but you don't ever see any sort of kit or shed um or maybe it's just a temporary house, I don't know, um, but maybe they're planning on something in the future. Um, as you can see there, pretty steering wheel, uh, says 10.1 hours, um, the middle one. So, this has hit 10 hours, I think the mass is on 10.8 hours, or something like that. And then the John Deere is about 8.9 hours, something like that. Now, now I'm bored, you see that's talking about stuff, but these straw bales, when I moved in March, they didn't have a cover on them. And now uh, I'm pretty sure they'd be last year's bales, but if they didn't have a cover on in winter, then they've probably rotted away. Now, when I moved, they didn't have a cover on them, but I'm surprised they haven't rotted away, but they might have had a cover on in winter. Um, but I'll see three or four months ago when I moved in March, uh, it wasn't, it didn't have a cover on it, um, and the weather wasn't as bad. So it might have taken off. Um, but I'm surprised they hadn't rotted yet. Let this citron go past. So we'll just let we'll just drop this off, let them know that it's here. And then yeah, it's a bit of deja vu coming up and down this road and then our back road. Should be fine with letting me leave it anywhere. Um they've never asked me to leave like leave it in a shed it's always just been on the outside pretty much where i picked it up it's always well it's either where it's always left outside or um always asking me to leave it outside um i mean they do have sheds um so i'll just i'll just go in and let them know it's here See you in a minute. So I'm back. Um, they've just taken into the shed there. Um, so I'll just get in the T6 and then we'll head home. I haven't got anything else to do. Um, I'm always turning the beacons on, but I don't really know why. Um, just going down the road, I'm always turning the beacons on. There you go. Um, Hopefully soon I would like to film the harvest. Now, actually it's probably in a month or two. Um, it's normally July to September is normally harvest time. Um, so, that's... Well, I mean, we've got to wait about three weeks till August. Um, I reckon August or September will be done. We'll be fully grown. Um, then we can harvest it. See how much money we get off it. Would be nice. Um, so let's head home now. Not much to do. Um, now, I don't know why. I don't know what that is. If it's a tree or something, but that's always there, and it's just a random crop or tree. Um, I don't actually really know why it's there. Just notice these kind of things. Don't know why. Just kind of out of the corner of my eye. So yeah, pig farm there. I don't see any pigs, but you know they might have retired or something. So always every time I'm in a tractor, and I do apologise for this, um, there is nothing to do or talk about. Um, also, I'm very glad that the T6 is back and there wasn't that much damage. A couple of people commented saying I'm surprised there wasn't that much damage. I thought there'd be more, and so did I. I thought there would be a lot more damage, but there wasn't, luckily. Uh, the police said it, they'd only done it, they'd only been in there an hour after it was found. Um, so they reckon it's been there for an hour, an hour and a half. Um, by the time it's taken out, it was about two hours. But um, yeah, he reckons they like took it in the night and had it somewhere, and then just kind of you know, put it in the river in broad daylight. Though, I mean, with with it being one of the fields with a lot of hedge around it, you probably wouldn't see a tractor going into a river. Um, so, 
don't really want to say this, but he was pretty smart. Um, but I'm just glad we got it back and we didn't have to get another tractor. Um, but no, the dealership were good. Uh, they were good with us. Um, and they knocked um, a couple hundred quid off it. Um, because, obviously, we have been there so many times. So, yeah. I have to turn the beacon off here. Yeah. Um, don't want to waste the battery. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and bye.